Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to Alan Wake 2. Um, let's go ahead and read what this uh, door says before we actually go inside it. It's probably a good idea. Oh boy. Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected in motion. In his room he will hurt her. <laughs> in hers he is caught. His story ends, her story does not. Wait a minute. His story ends, her story does not. But everyone was saying that she died. Interesting. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Wasn't that comforting and charming and a bunch of this other was adjectives? The there was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Somehow it was important. Well, I'm preparing for this to jump out and grab me, especially since we're now switching to a cut scene. Okay, well, never mind. Body's gone. Somehow I was closer to home, closer than ever before. Am I talking to Saga again? The FBI agent. Oh, this is right after Saga's Coffee World. I'm close now. Crawling down the well. I feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Knowing what each of them said. For a moment, like two planets passing back and forth. Oh. Saga Anderson was helping me. Helping me go deeper. Closer to escape. Somehow. I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. Back to Parliament. To back to my apartment. My study. Yay. I had to find the manuscript of return. My favorite. What the fuck was up at the top? Looked like pillars of fire up at the very top of the building. All right, Alan. In a fancy hotel. Find Alice, exit the hotel. Okay. So as soon as we're able to exit the hotel and actually swap back, we'll swap back to Saga now that we've done... We've done some time as Alan. Is everything back to normal here? Everything is back to normal here. Or as normal as it could be, I suppose. Okay. Quick save. There's no bucket in here. I don't have a bucket or a mop. Bring a bucket and a mop for some words I won't say. Wink, wink. All right, is this actually going to take me out, or do I have to remove the devil thing? <laughs> nope, I'm actually out on Three Chord Street was here again. because Remedy or Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. Cheeky boys, I had to get it before cheeky cheeky boys. Okay, quick save. Okay, don't need to do a manual save, but I'm going to anyway because now we're physically in a different spot, and I've got the mop bucket, which means I will swap to Saga Story. Whatever the hell that's actually going to end up being. Are, are we... Did I do the thing? Oh, I hadn't actually... I was, like, waiting for it. I forgot that the little circle popped up. Okay. Switch reality. A charming and calming thing that you can do every so often, you know. Nice and calm. Also, I forgot to say... Um, I was gonna mention this in the previous episode, but I completely forgot. Um, the Game Award nominations are out. Alan Wake 2, leading, tied with Baldur's Gate 3 for the most nominations. I think by the time this episode goes up, the Game Awards will have already happened. 
Um, but still, hell yeah! Let's go Remedy! Eight nominations. Narrative, art direction, audio design. Um, narrative, art direction, audio design. Performance for Saga. Um, game direction, game of the year. Sound and music. And then something... And best action adventure game. Pretty, pretty sick, if I do say so myself. Wow, it is dark. Wow, it is really, really dark. Like, obviously it's dark. I expected it to be dark. But wow, is it dark. Also, I, I feel like... I could be wrong. I feel like we're in the later half of the game. Because look, Pat Main's radio show, 4 out of 9. That's about halfway. Various artists, 8 out of 14. That's more than halfway. Um, Koskela's ads, four out of six, that's more than halfway. Could we be, like, um, oh, jeez, okay, well, hold on, hold on. Could we be more than halfway through? Okay, I need to get to the nursing home. Okay, so I can't get through this way, I gotta go back around through the kitchen. Gotta go through the kitchen and then exit that way, and then I'll be able to get through to the nursing home. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Light and eyes adjusting to the different lighting situations. I can't jump up through a window, can't do a little window shimmy slide like most other third person action games. Which is interesting. Action adventure, I guess. I guess this qualifies as that. It is an action game and it is there is also adventuring things happening. But at the same time, like... I'm actually kind of shocked. Uh, I forgot that the Game Awards don't have a horror category. Like, best horror game. You would think like this. Resident Evil 4 remake, Dead Space remake. A lot of remakes. But you know what I mean. Like, horror is such a huge part of the game's industry... You would assume they would have their uh, their own category, especially considering there's sports racing games, there's simulation games, like those all have their own category, but not horror. Interesting, I suppose, but eh, what are you gonna do? Have I already reached the nursing home? <gasps> Wait, is this? Hello. Saga, it's Tor, your grandfather. Oh. About time you were coming to visit, Kilo. How do you know I'm coming to visit? To yeah, exactly. We have bigger problems. What are your bigger problems? Oh, oh that doesn't sound good. Fuck. Tor? Shit. Hello? Oh boy. Something also is off at that nursing home. Very funny to me that I'm only just now realizing that I could have just walked a little bit further instead of going all the way back behind me, back to um, the hotel, and I could have been able to switch realities up here. I need to keep that in mind, because I'm pretty sure they're basically saying, like, yeah, every so often, um, you'll be able to, to swap. Like, basically, after a chapter ends, we'll basically at some point give you a way to swap back and forth. You won't have to do it manually. Speaking of manual... The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the Old Gods of Asgard fame for their Twilight Years. Built after the return comeback tour. flip flop to be their farewell tour. Cut short. Cancelled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler, had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance slays the demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared. Booze and drugs, a rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Are we gonna get to see Barry again? My big Barry boy? My best buddy Barry? I would love to see him again. Learn whatever the... Learn whatever his opinions are about all this. Okay. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad doggy. I don't know where you are, but I don't like it. Oh, there you are. Maybe. 
I don't know. What's the way to the ranger cabin? I can get to a ranger cabin? Maybe I should get... Oh! Yo! Bad dog. Bad dog. I thought that he... I thought those healed me fully. There you are. You dead, doggy? Do not open. Dead inside. Dead dog inside. Come on, you can't you can't have more than like one or two shots. Okay, you like floated in midair for a second there. I'm getting increasingly less. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, great, great. Fuck it. Go, go, go. Doggo. Bad doggy. I don't like this. I don't like I'm suddenly having so much difficulty with one single dog. This is going very poorly. How much more can you take? Okay, you're done. I don't know where the other one is, and I don't like that I don't know where the other one is. Okay, ranger cabin? This doesn't even seem like it's worth it at this point. But I'm out here, so I might as well. Come on. Oh, a little nice, nice little fishing spot. How quaint. How adorable. I'm gonna have to fight the other wolf when I go back up to go to the nursing home, aren't I? Yeah, you bet your ass I'm gonna have to do that. Hello. Are you over this way? There's another lunchbox. Where? Oh, right there. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of it. I was going to leave you some cookies, but I was worried an animal would get into them, so I didn't. But it's a thought that counts, right? I swear I really, really think that this is... This is Saga's daughter. I really, really think it is. I've not been able to upgrade anything yet. I've not found enough. Well, now I have enough. Auto fire. More bullets. Okay, shotgun. Deals increased damage. Kill an enemy to restore health. Is that only for my shotgun, though? I wonder. Let's try it all the, the same. The shotgun rang in the air. Ooh. The enemy fell. Saga felt a surge of new energy. So he is she writing all of this. Before, but was ready for more now. She would get through this. He is writing this. On. I mean, I knew he was writing this, but, like, you know what I mean. Um, fires two bolts before needing to be reloaded. Hold the fire button. Increased damage and straighter arc. Bolts lodged into enemies will attract bullets fired near them. Ooh, that could be very good. Either that... Actually, pull the string. Saga strained to pull the string of the crossbow back as far as she could. To her surprise... The latch adjusted to accommodate her. Mm -hmm. The next bolt would stop a monster. Hell yeah. I finally have enough to start upgrading Saga. Let's let's go. Let's McFreakin' lose it. Um, what about my map? Um, cult stash, janitor's bucket, cult stash. I don't like that this is scribbled out, so I'm guessing I can't go this way. So what's the point of the... Yeah, I... Wait, is this... Oh, Ranger Station, Bright Falls. Okay, I can't go this way. I guess I'll have to come back here later once the water is lowered. Let's, so let's go back. We'll head straight for... We'll, we'll stop mucking about. We'll head straight for the, uh, the nursing home. I'm gonna have to encounter that other wolf, aren't I? 
Um, I bet I will. I don't like it, but I bet it, I bet I will. How the hell did I get up here? God, some of these, I mean, they are like forest paths, so I'm not super surprised that I'm getting all twisted and turned around, but still. Do 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 Hello? Anybody around, up and around here? Yeah, I hear the other one. I hear him. I'm just gonna try to avoid him as much as I can. Just not pay any mind. I got two grandfathers? Question mark? To rescue. So this place isn't the nursing home from the first game. Or the, like, hospital or whatever. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. Yeah, and these guys don't seem like bad news. About him, the better. Why do you think these guys seem like bad news? Um. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Yeah, that's, that's, I guess, a way of describing it. It's a very... Y you definitely, like, downplayed it a little bit, but I guess that's a way to describe what, he's, what he would be doing. So this is not the, like, hospital doctor's place from the first game where we found... Okay, can't get in there. Where we found Tor and Odin. This is a different place built after the events of the first game. With their, like, their, the money from them touring and stuff. So it's a nursing home either just for them or built or founded for them, but other people live here? I don't know. I can't tell. Can't tell based on that description. Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone, but Wake was gone. In Excuse me. In, cust in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control, Casey, her only ally, was gone, too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Torn Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit, then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. Well, that sounds very charming. Sounds like a fun little excursion. Just a fun little family visit. Why, oh, why don't you know? Just going to visit family. Do I have to ring the doorbell? Old gods. Getting late for visitors, you know. I was just getting the... Oh, Saga? Oh, what great. Happened? Another person who knows me that I don't know! Great! Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. She doesn't Sorry, seem suspicious at all. Too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay, if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um. Mm-hmm. Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. She's Not like, ah, to be outside fuck. when the sun goes down. I don't know why you say I that. Architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian. Alan manner. Wake, the sudden stop. That's from the very first game, I believe. Another one of those lunch boxes. Where? Oh, right over here. You are strong, you are successful, you are confident. Why, thank you. I'd like to think so. Okay, got the map. Filing cabinet. You know, just a filing cabinet filled with bullets and some band-aids. As you do. Wake up. Alan Wake's crime novels have been the sensation of the nation. Join us as we flip through the pages of The Man Behind the Books. Folks Magazine. How has your life changed since your books became so popular? Alan Wake. I have to do a lot more magazine interviews. Other than that, it's not so different. FM. You're hilarious. I can see why you're a writer. 
So what do you do to get your creative juices flowing? Sorry, I had a brain fart there for a second. Writing is a very solitary journey. When I'm working, I'd like to be alone in a room with my manuscript. There I can wrestle with the story, get inside the heads of my characters. Sounds exhausting. And yet you find plenty of energy to party, right? Word on the street is you've been out enjoying the New York nightlife. Any favorite spots? I'd prefer if we could focus on my writing. Definitely, although I'm sure our readers would love to know where they can find New York's hottest writer on a Saturday night. Are you working on a book? Yes, on some level. I'm always working on the next story. Right now I'm looking into something different. A departure from what people would expect. Something new. Be careful with that. People don't always like new. So what role does the beautiful Alan Alice Wake play in your work? Is she your muse? Alice keeps me stable. She's an anchor, stopping the waves from carrying me too far out to sea. Be my light in the darkness, Rose. He almost looks like um, Michael Douglas in Fabulous Baker Boys in that picture. Where is Alan Wake? Mysterious writer mysteriously, mystery writer mysteriously disappears. The best-selling author known for his Alex Casey novels has been reported missing in the town of Bright Falls, Washington. Mr. Wake's wife, Alice Wake, has not given any comments on the case, but is confirmed to have been the one to report her husband's disappearance to the authorities. The mysteries surrounding the novelist's disappearance don't stop there. Other individuals from the town were reported missing within a similar time frame. It is unclear whether these disappearances are connected. Wake's literary agent, Barry Wheeler, has indicated he has no information to provide, despite having been seen with Mr. Wake in Bright Falls just before the author's disappearance. The writer, Alan Wake, has a history of violence towards the press and is rumored to have struggled with addiction. This story will be updated as it unfolds. Violence towards the press. Alan Wake, the bad boy of fiction. I guess we're going to find out what that means. Best-selling author sets a feisty new tone for writers. Alan Wake is an author best known for his Alex Casey books, a series of thrilling novels that reinvigorated the crime genre. But Wake isn't just known for his literary works. He's also famous among New York's most exclusive clubs as a late-night party animal. This author is redefining what it means to be a writer. Gone are the days of isolated figures hunching over typewriters in dark rooms. Wake is a man who hits the town in style, a regular at the hottest spots in the city. Happy to be see, happy to see and be seen. The people and the paparazzi can't get enough of him. But it's not just his social calendar that makes this writer stand out from his peers. Artists are famous for their tempers, but Wake's is in a completely different orbit. Damaging property, giving photographers black eyes, avoiding lawsuits. This writer is a train full of rage, and you better get off the tracks. Like a punk rocker, Wake is grabbing musty old stereotypes and smashing them to pieces. This is one rebel to keep an eye out for. Well, that doesn't sound like Wake. Like, not at all, that doesn't sound like Wake. I don't believe that for a second. All the speakers and exercise equipment and such. Bright Falls Blend. Oh, is this another... Oh, it turned on in here. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. This coffee I'm holding right here. I just showed the camera the empty cup! I wonder if the two guys that run a coffee-themed amusement park have their own coffee blend. Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos well, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I know that it had the disclaimer at the bottom, but I'm just so amused that they're like, yeah, we'll, we, we'll say that. Why not? Do, roo, 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 zoom in and out. Now he's in a suit. He's still with the beard and the hat. You can see the price tag on the tie. Right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today. Locally in Puerto Rico. Try the delicious brunch special this month only. Bye, Mr. Eagle. Local coffee, local flavor. I love... Remedy, I love you guys so much. So, so much. Posters of Old Gods, old of, Asgard. Gods of Asgard. 
So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything. Mm-hmm. Who? What was that? Was that in the game or real life? Oh, I'm losing my mind now. Um, give me two seconds. I actually have to check something. Um, completely unrelated, but it reminded me of that. I'll be right back. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Um, I still, like, she said, oh, can I come in and see the other residents? And the girl looked weirdly exasperated with that question. Like, obviously, she's trying to keep me out of here for some reason. But also, like, who, I don't even know who else would be here. The Valhalla Nursing Home was established in 2014 by the Old Gods Foundation. Originally built in 1965 by an unknown architect for the Finnish filmmaker Thomas Zane. Oh, boy. This manor is steeped in artistic history. I met Odin and Tor Anderson in 2012 in a strange trip that resulted in strange new friendships. I was honored to manage their band as they made their comeback tour. As they made their comeback, touring the country and producing revolutionary new music. However, all good things must come to an end. Valhalla is a place of rest. In that spirit, I hope this building will serve as a place where people can spend their golden years in peace and comfort. May it be a home to those who need one. Welcome to Valhalla, Barry Wheeler. Okay. Is, so Barry's not here? Oh, thought I'd lost you. Okay, I, you saw friends, me right there. Or, as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Okay, Norman, that man has absolutely has no clothes on. I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. Sorry, Artie's here? Just another day in Valhalla. Artie's here. Really Excuse me, you can't just say that. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Where's Artie? Where's my boy? Torrent Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Also, I do love that this place just has, like, random, like, drawers and stuff that are, like, full of uh, bullets and, like, bandages and Ati, things. this is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Hi, buddy. What a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> hey, uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dance foot waggle. <laughs> I love Ati so much. He's my boy. What song are you going to pick, Ati? Please, if you pick Take Control, I'm going to completely shit myself. Hey, this song sound familiar to anyone who's, I don't know, maybe watched any episode in this series and heard the intro? Hi, Ati. Hello there. Nice to meet you. I'm Saga. Hey, Basine. Name won't make the man worse. Even a Swedish name. I'm Arti. Anything good on the jukebox? Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers. Old gods of Asgard. My pals. The Vikings. Brkele. Were you in the band? Oh my god, please tell me. Oh, I was gonna say. If you were about to tell me that Ati was also a member of this band, I was gonna freak out. I'm looking for the Andersons. You can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Thank you, Ati, for being your wonderful, beautiful, brilliant self. Okay, looks like to get past those doors and outside, I need some sort of a wristband. So let's try looking upstairs for a wristband. Also, my god, guys, I know you're used to this and all, but, like, could we turn on a light, maybe? I shouldn't have to use a flashlight indoors in a building that is, like, occupied and used by people. Also, yes, Saga, I see. Go go pet the deer. As you are wont to do for some reason. Petting deers all every which place. I bet that there's some achievement for petting all the deers. 
I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. So, Old Gods of Asgard Museum Hall of Fame. Okay. Nothing in here, it looks like. Just a water tank. Water tank? Pat? Valhalla Nursing Home is old. Very I shouldn't old. Oh, it's Pat the Maine. Oh. To, to watch the ocean for From the radio. And who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The ocean I'm sure it has been, spot, Pat. They call us. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer. Sorry, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he just say Ocean View Motel and Spa? The future is... <clears throat> Remedy? Remedy, what are you implying here? What are you doing, Remedy? What are you doing to me? Tor. Is this Tor's room? Oh, yo. Uh... Tor's room is, uh... In a state? More moonshine. Yeah, this you don't say. Page. This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm assuming... No, that's Donna. Did they not keep the... Oh, no, they do keep them right next to each other. Tor and Odin. Odin's in bad shape. Oh, Jesus. He Odin. was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Mm-hmm. Which would lead me to assume that that here? is Saga. Also, I love the dart. The, story? the dart in his brother's chest is very funny. What does this note say? The Sea of Night, to drink from the cup of the wise one, for wisdom to be a seer. I gave up my eye, in the light of the moon to shine and see, the many worlds to madness and beyond, across the dark dreaming sea, the branching paths of the tree, I gave up my eyes so many times. We have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before, and we'll still keep and we'll keep on meeting still. Where did I put the eye? Before time, I gave it to Mimmer to drink from the well of wisdom, the cauldron. 1976. I took it out myself to see, drank the moonshine. 1988. He who stands on the threshold took it from me. The time will come again to be writ again. Odin. Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> He looks like he's been sedated. Odin Abison, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? What? Oh. Oh. He's in no shape to talk. Well, that wasn't good. Okay, we should do some profiling because we also need to... Poor Donna. Conversation, new choices. Conversation, new choices. Interesting. Point of interest in the off... Oh, and yeah, I already looked at that. And there's a basement, too. Interesting. That I haven't been to yet. I guess I can't... I gotta go outside to go through the basement. I guess? But I can only go outside once I got the key thingy. Um. Radio... Yeah, um, I want... Where is it? Case board. Is that not... Can I not put that up? Oh, shit. I got so much stuff. Okay, first... The... Mm-hmm. Torin Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. What did Torin Odin know about the clicker? Well, he was saying something about it, because he called. Is Tor okay? Well, I would doubt it, because look at that. Torn Odin arresting and can't have guests, but his room is smashed. Um, Bright Falls area. Bright Falls. Coffee World parking nope. lot. No, that's watery. Okay. Um, nursery rhymes. 
Um, trickster <laughs> doll. Or no, up here. Strange dolls. Maiden doll. God, the dolls are really something else. Really, really something else. Okay, who are these and what made them? The email, obviously. Wait, that was fake correspondence? Written in the style of fictional characters. Oh, okay. Dark substance appeared when the rhyme was completed. Hmm. Test site and watery. So, watery rhymes? Yeah, okay, okay. Then. Okay, so that's all taken care of. Cold stashes. <laughs> Wait, what? Found it. Oh, in Coffee World. Um, the story. Entered the watery overlap by completing the parade float. Um, I guess those are both still for later. Fact versus fiction. Connection to Torn Odin. Well, it's the painting. It's looked exactly like Mom, and that's me. Is this still a part of the story? Okay. So then don't show me is that one having new stuff. Hmm. Trail of the Cult. Oh, it's because I discovered so much stuff and didn't put it on the board. Now the game's like, all right. I case need closed. To the to wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further into it. That's the idea, Saga. That's that's really genuinely the idea. Okay. Let's go up one more floor cuz I'm assuming I can't Oh no, I can just waltz in here. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? No, I, I... thought not. No, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll leave. Don't mind me. Then now I have to start over. All right. Um, hold. Hello. Frightened of seeing New York in a fancy hotel. The authorities say they. This will put a smile man. back on your face, Some my dear. Sorry. Hello. I'm Saga. Why do you think I need a smile put back on my face? Hi, Cynthia. I'm looking for Tor Anderson. Have you seen him? Tor. Always poking people with his hammer. Yeah, that sounds like him. Oh, dear. My lantern. Your lantern? I'll be sure to keep an eye out for it. Oh, fuck! Why is this happening now? There must be an overlap here somewhere. And in that time, I have never oh, great. An overlap here. This is exactly what I need. Okay, um, profiling. Profile Odin. See what he knows. Odin's in rough shape. Speak to me, brother. To him? Speak to me, boy. These are our twilight years. Yeah, they are. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? What? It's never felt this way before. Wait, wait what? Grown up, Saga, dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. Wh uh, wait, what? Weak, you what? have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. What? was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I have questions, Odin. A photograph of you with the cultists. Answer now, please. Are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy, but we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cults mm -hmm. been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band, and those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. I didn't think the so. The thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I would have been genuinely shocked if they were part of the cult. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. 
Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Because <laughs> he's Thor. Danger. Yeah, I gathered as much. I'm working on it. More than just a mental technique? No, I feel like it's a physical other place. My mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? I think it's a physical other because place and she just doesn't realize it. Behind it. One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Mm hmm I got What's one more thing to ask though. You can maybe tell me more. I got one well, well I guess two I more things to ask. Clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. It's from Tom Zane's Working lamp? The light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has Interesting. The power to story. Interesting. I've never heard it phrased it. like that before. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. No, no, Thomas Zane. What's going on? Darkness is or are Thomas Zane and Alan Wake the same person? Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of Fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? Nope. It wants to take him. And then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Yeah, I Bad gathered as much. Happen in the wellness center. Bad things happen in the I wellness center is saga. a very funny Does sentence. To I don't know, Saga. When you hear Prince of Darkness, do you typically associate that with good things? Do you typically associate that with... Happy go lucky, good things that you absolutely like. I, Prince of Dark. Oh. Tor, there's danger. Tor, there's danger. Odin. Don't worry, Odin. I'll find him. I'll find him. I'll protect you both. I have to protect my gramps. I love these two chuckle fucks so much. So, so much. They are so wholesome and wonderful and good, and I love them. Rock around the rocking chair. Doesn't seem like anybody's in here. Okay, I didn't even check and see whose room this was. This is Norman's room. Okay. Beware of Cynthia need to Weaver. Find the key. Okay. To get into her room, I need one of those scanners. I need one for Gale, too. Mandy May. Okay, Mandy May. Are there no... Oh... I recognize those symbols. Wow, there's a lot of them. I don't like that little tick-tock, tick-tock. It's like my boy Junkrat. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. Can't go in Adi's room. Oh, well, this seems... Getting in is forbidden for your own safety. Adi, you can't just do that to, to him, somebody. Trade. Come on. But in the end, stand to dance. Sheesh. Good so, see you there. what... What do I do then, Adi? What do I do then? I just... Okay. I guess I just leave? Or not leave, but just head back downstairs? Anybody seen Cynthia? I want to have a word or two with that girl. Hi, you two. Can I, I'm assuming you could talk to... Yeah, what That's are you knitting? Whoops, sorry, I just smacked my mic. That couldn't have sounded What's good. What's your inspiration? 
Uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more I'm gonna not, Norman. You, Norman. And I'll put this needle in your ear. Have you Do seen Torrin Odin? Do you know where I could find Torrin Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But yeah, I found him. He's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is okay. hurt. Something's wrong with him. Nothing else. To, oh, Was what happened Tor to Tor? Hurt badly. He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! I mean, his name is Tor. <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say oh, stuff Jesus. like that. All right, so am I done talking to you two? I think I'm done talking to you two. Okay, there was one other conversation that I needed to have. I thought I did put on a wonderful performance this afternoon. Uh, what's what's the, the wellness, wellness center? center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. Hmm, to stay young, stay limber. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? Yeah, he's still hurt, and exactly. she he's, his, he's her grandfather. Uh-huh, I need to check Tor's room. You said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, I hated the face she just made for that. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. Oh, oh yeah, that's I what you do. The story. Yeah. When someone tells you, like, hey, uh, by the way, uh, my daughter didn't drown, everyone's wrong about that, yeah, the, the, uh, like, mm-hmm, that's definitely a, an appropriate reaction to that. Okay, let me go up and check Tor's room real quick, see if I find anything interesting, and then we'll call this an episode. Okay. I mean, I thought I already looked around... Maybe I need to maybe I need to progress the case further. The Anderson brothers. Um uh, whoops. Uh the clicker is an amplifier alone, it's not very useful. Um Tor had some kind of accident upstairs. Look for Tor in his room, he's in danger. Tor is not okay. Art like Something Wake's writing has power. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Mm-hmm. Can I trust him with that much power? Can you afford not to? Not sure I have a choice. Bingo. Bingo bango. Cult has been trying to recruit them for years. Um Torin Odin. Sure. Um, Ilmo attacked Alan in a cult mask. Cult tried to kill Alan Wake. Cult working for someone. Psychology. Hmm. Um. Cult working for with someone. Oh, okay. Why do they want to kill Wake? I would love to know that as well, but I doubt I'll figure it out. Okay, those two. Nope. Whoops. And then Alex Casey lunchboxes. Who left these? So I don't know if she actually has anything to do with them, but she's definitely knitting them. 
Um, it was up here where I found the little save, right? One of these rooms was a little save spot. Oh, yeah, duh, this one. The one I'm literally standing right next to. Quick save. All right, and we'll do a manual save just to be safe. Come on now, show me. Return six, or return, no, return five. Okay, old gods. All righty. Um, we need to keep picking this place clean so that we can figure out where Thor is and how to get to him and how to hopefully help him, protect him, save him and Odin and close the overlap that is clearly here. And we're going to do all that in the next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video if you'd like to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob and you have been wonderful. Thank you guys for hanging out and tuning in and coming on and visiting all your old grand folks and their friends and all the old people, you see? It's really nice to always respect your elders, always pay them a visit. And this has been Alan Wake. Two. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, Space Cowboys. <laughs>